Hello student, welcome to all of you in the next physics lecture. This is the video number 40. Myself, Rajesh Lakhan, physics teacher. Now we have to see here in the chapter number 6, the superposition of the waves. Now in this lecture, we have to see first, so what is the principle of superposition of the two waves? We have to state here the principle of superposition of the waves. Statement is like that, when the two or the more waves arrived at a point simultaneously traveling through the medium, then each wave produces its own displacement. Each wave produces its own displacement and also they are independent on each other and their resultant displacement at that point is equal to the vector sum of the displacement due to the individual waves at that point. This is nothing but the uh, principle of the superposition of the waves. Again, we have to state this principle. When the two or the more waves arrive at a point simultaneously traveling through the medium, then each wave produces its own displacement and they are the independent on each other and at that point the resultant displacement is equal to vector sum of the displacement due to the individual waves at that point. That means the displacement is a vector and uh, we must this, uh, add this individual displacement by considering their direction because we have to use a vector sum therefore we can think about the direction. And there is a no change in the shape and nature of these uh, individual waves due to the superposition of the waves. There is no change in the nature and also shape of the waves due to the superposition of the waves. And this principle is applies in the all types of the waves like the sound waves, light waves, waves on the strings, etc. By using this superposition of the waves, we can find out here the amplitude of the resultant wave. We have to find here the amplitude of the resultant wave, which is the very easy mathematical expression from this amplitude of the resultant wave depend on this principle of superposition of wave. For that purpose, we have to consider here the two waves. We have to consider here the two waves having the uh, same frequency. Now, we have to write here same amplitude, but uh, right this here we have to consider the two waves having the same frequency not amplitude same frequency and slightly different amplitudes remember here that uh, we have to consider here mistake one consider two waves having the same frequency and slightly different amplitude a1 and a2 and these uh, two waves are differing phase by the pi then these two displacements such as given by the y1 is equal to a1 sin omega t, y2 is equal to a2 sin omega t plus phi. Different amplitudes a1 and a2. Frequencies are same and phase change is phi. Okay. Now the resultant of this displacement at this x is equal to 0 is given by y is equal to y1 plus y2. Further, we have to write here the amplitude uh, having the amplitude a1 and a2 and the same frequency and the differing phase phi okay again this displacement of these two waves which are given by y1 is equal to a sin omega t and y2 is equal to a2 sin omega t plus phi then the resultant of these two we have to adding these two displacement that is the resultant of the displacement at its origin that is x is equal to 0 is given by y is equal to y1 plus y2. Okay, substituting this value, y is equal to y1, a1 sin omega t here plus y2, a2 sin omega t plus phi, y2, a2 sin omega t plus phi. By using this formula, we can write here y is equal to a1 sin omega t as it is and solve this a2 sin omega t plus phi. We can write here a2 sin omega t cos phi plus a2 cos omega t into sin phi a2 sin omega t cos phi plus cos omega t sin phi by using this formula we can write this time then now we have to see here the sin omega t sin omega t in these two terms which are constant and remaining terms a1 plus a2 cos phi in this bracket 
and common term is sin omega t plus a2 sin omega t sin phi and cos omega t is as remain as it is. Only change here sin phi take this end and cos omega t this a2 sin phi into cos omega t. Now we can substitute the values instead of a1 plus a2 cos phi is equal to a cos theta and instead of a2 sin phi is equal to only a sin theta. A2 a1 plus a2 cos phi a cos phi, a2 sin phi a sin theta. Instead of phi we can write here theta and a1 a2 instead of a1 a2 we can write simply a and this is the equation number first and second only. Understand this? Then substituting this value we can write y is equal to instead of a1 plus a2 cos phi we can write the a cos theta write a cos theta into sin omega t into sin omega t as it is plus a2 sin phi this is nothing but what a sin theta right here a sin theta into cos omega t and this is the formula nothing but a sin omega t plus theta y is equal to a cos theta sin omega t plus a sin theta cos omega t instead of this we can use this by using the formula we can write y is equal to a sin of omega t plus theta and this is the equation of resultant wave. This equation is known as the equation of resultant wave. By using this equation number first and second we can find out the resultant amplitude and which is very important. You can use this formula for in your numerical. Then by squaring and adding the equation first and second, we can find out the resultant amplitude A. Squaring and adding of the equation first and second. Then we have to consider here the first RHS right hand side. Squaring and adding this S square cos square theta plus S square sin square theta right here. S square cos square theta plus S square sin square theta. Then LHS A1 plus A2 cos phi square and A2 square sin square phi. A2 square sin square phi. We can squaring and adding the equation first and second for the purpose to find out the resultant amplitude. Now we know that the cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 by taking the common s square. So that s square is equal to uh, expand this a1 square plus twice a1 a2 cos square phi uh, sorry twice a1 a2 cos phi and plus a2 square cos square phi and plus a2 square sin square phi. Again you have to see in here this last two terms here sin square phi plus cos square phi this value is equal to 1 and a2 square is common we can write here a2 square and uh, other terms is remain as it is s square is equal to a1 square plus twice a1 a2 cos phi plus cos square phi plus sin square phi is equal to 1 so that we can write simply a2 square and uh, this is nothing but the where to this a is equal to under root a1 square plus twice a1 a2 cos phi plus a2 square. A is equal to under root a1 square plus twice a1 a2 cos of phi plus a2 square. This is the resultant amplitude A of this resultant wave. Now we have to see here the uh, two cases, the special cases first and second. Case first, if the waves are in phase, the waves are in, in phase that means which are in side direction then this phase angle phi is equal to 0. Then substituting in this s square is equal to a1, a1 square plus twice a1 a2 cos phi instead of cos phi we can write here cos 0 and plus a2 square then we know that cos 0 is equal to 1 then s square is equal to a1 plus twice a1 a2 instead of cos 0 that is 1 multiply by 1 no change therefore a1 uh, a1 square plus twice a1 a2 plus a2 square and therefore a is equal to a1 plus a2. If I have to, there is one mistake. This uh, s square is equal to a1 square plus twice a1 a2 plus a2 square. Then instead of this a is equal to taking the square root a1 plus a2 bracket square taking the square root a is equal to a1 plus a2 we can write directly. This shows that the resultant amplitude is maximum when the phi is equal to 0 because a is equal to a1 plus a2 so that this resultant amplitude is maximum but when the phase change phi is equal to 0 that means these waves are in phase 
then this resultant amplitude is maximum that is A is equal to A1 plus A2. Then second case we have to take here these uh, two waves are in out of phase they are in opposite direction then instead of this phi we take here the phase change phi is equal to pi. Then again substituting this in this equation A square is equal to A1 square plus twice A1 A2 cos pi instead of cos pi we can substitute the cos pi and plus A2 square then we know that cos phi value of the cos phi is equal to minus 1 and substituting this minus then the cos phi minus 1 minus 1 into this take this minus side a square is equal to a1 square minus twice a1 a2 plus a2 square taking the square root a is equal to a1 minus a2 and this is the resultant amplitude it should be minimum but when the when pi is equal to pi and these are the two special cases for the resultant amplitude you understand this well okay stop here